and thank you everyone for joining today. We welcome today's presentation on the final guidance and what impact it may have on our data management discipline. The learning objectives that I have in plan for today are that we're going to define the recommended SOPs associated with the electronic systems used to collect clinical trial data. And this is very important that we, we have then procedures and documentation on how we're going to manage this type of activity. We'll discuss the data integrity issues described in the final guideline because it's a, a running theme throughout the document talking about the data integrity. We'll list the considerations of risk associated in clinical trial conduct and its connection to clinical data management uh, because now risk and the assessment of risk is an important component of good clinical practice of uh, this amendment and we'll review the principles of quality management as related to clinical trials and the tools utilized to implement a quality approach. So I'd like to start with just the general principles of good clinical and the principles, general principles of ICH good clinical practice is that trials need to be conducted in accordance with ethical principles and this foreseeable risk weight against benefit. And you'll see this risk versus benefit a lot in um, parts of good clinical practice, but also in the whole theme of, of doing clinical trials. The right safety and well-being of trial subjects and patients are considered, and trials should be scientifically sound and described in a detailed And it's very important that the science be sound. And I know I've worked for a few sponsors that uh, could have used a little bit of help in devising their protocols for, for the science component. We also know that informed consent needs to be obtained from every participant, and the confidentiality of participants is very important. So now for the revision, revision two, or the amendment, addendum rather, what they call it, and this past November the addendum has been issued, and the goal of the revision, which is the clinical trial design, and this is where this most efficient, more efficient approaches will lead us to this risk-based approach which is not necessarily a new idea, but for GCP, it is a new idea. With conduct, oversight, recording, and reporting, while continuing to ensure the human subject protection and data integrity. And I bolded the data integrity since this message or statement is mentioned throughout the amendment. And one of the remits of data management, obviously, is to ensure data integrity. Well, it is the first revision in 19 years. It drives the adoption of quality by design, and you may have heard this term before, quality risk management principles and methodologies. And quality of the clinical trial must be ensured through fact-driven planning. And so we look at our experiences and identify those in order to instill quality procedures. It must be supported by tools and processes that leverage past experience real-life data in order to eliminate unrealistic study procedures and avoid uh, protocol amendments, avoidable protocol amendments. And for a data management to, uh, protocol amendment uh, really do impact our processes as we have to either um, amend the case report forms and then again amend the database to, to accommodate those changes in data. And quality management is expected to be risk-based. So previously we were looking at um, risk-based monitoring as an option, and a lot of companies have not yet embraced risk-based monitoring, well, it really isn't going to be an option anymore. It is really dictated by this amendment or addendum to the ICHE-6. The continuous evolution of technology, the GCP is getting with the times and encouraging sponsors to consider technology. So we have, and you figure, in the last 19, um, yeah, we did have the internet, but certainly not, um, not of the social media that we have now. Smartphones were never known 19 years ago. EDC has been around for a long time, but the adoption therein has taken, some, I think, some time, clinical data management, a long time. But the real-time review of clinical data is really important now because of the way that protocols have been designed. We have proof of concepts. We have dose escalation studies. And we really need to look at the data, especially the safety data, in real time in order to, let's say, go to the next dose or look at the safety profile. It encourages sponsors to pursue innovative approaches for conducting clinical trials by considering technology. 
also in this amendment they have significant issues for sponsors and CROs responsibilities and one of the things that we need to be aware of and as sponsor we may subcontract to CRO or we may even have let's say uh, contracted biostatisticians or consultants and one of the things in other parts of this amendment are the responsibilities where we actually have to do almost like a vetting process we are responsible for the performance of those persons that we subcontract mm -hmm.